YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your boy Adam, back again with another video. And on this channel, man, we talk about fitness, women, dating advice, and overall self-improvement. So if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to be notified when I drop another video. Without any further introduction, man, let's get into it. Alright man, so a huge misconception when you starting out in the gym is that you need to have this huge caloric surplus in order to gain muscle. And don't get me wrong man, I believed this at first. I really did. I was buying mass gainers, eating so much that I was feeling sick, force feeding myself. But in all honesty man, that shit is not healthy for you. And you don't even need it either. Because in reality, if you have a huge caloric surplus, say like 500 plus calories more than maintenance, more often than not, you're just gonna get fat, bruh. Like, don't get me wrong, you'll get hella strong, and you'll look big as shit, but you're also gonna get fat. So I guess, depending on your goals, just be mindful of that information. If you wanna be aesthetic, keep your abs, look good, and gain muscle at the same time, then just be on a two to 300 calorie surplus, bruh. Cause right here is me, okay, when I first started lifting, and this is me literally today, right after I recorded the footage you're watching, okay? This took me a year and a half at a 200 to 250 surplus, bruh. I ain't even on no crazy shit. Now, I could be a lot bigger and a lot stronger, but I wanted to maintain the aesthetics of my physique. So like I said, man, it really just depends on what you're going for, your goals, and the overall build. Like if you're trying to be a power lifter and get strong as shit, then bruh, you got to eat, my boy. Pick up the fork, my boy. And that shit will help you out. But like I said, if you want to just build that body up, get that aesthetic physique, and start doing some modeling shit or whatever, then definitely chill out on the calories, bruh. You do not need to eat so much goddamn food, okay? Just, I just wanted to make this video so y'all understand that, bruh. Shit, in all honesty, you could even build muscle in a deficit. Like, as long as you're training intensely, or at least as it, more intense, then your last session, you're gonna build muscle, bruh. If you're adding novel resistance to your muscles, the fibers are gonna tear and muscle will build, as long as you're recovering. Honestly, I'd say recovering is a lot more important than even eating, bruh. Eating's important, training's important, but nothing's more important than getting enough sleep and recovering. But yeah, man, just, don't eat that much, bruh. Unless you want to be fat and strong. Then that's fine. If you bulky, it's about to be a winner. So get fat and strong. It don't matter. But don't listen to these sham-ass influencers, bruh. Talking about you need to eat a thousand plus calories over maintenance. No, you don't. Shit, don't even listen to me, bruh. Do your own research, and you'll be just fine. Okay? It's a process. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Yes, sir. Alright y'all, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to share it with somebody, friend, family member, or whoever needs to hear that information. If you enjoyed the video as well, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to be notified when I drop another video, man. As always, I appreciate you, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay icy.